Hello everyone and welcome to Swimsuits Cuisine. My name is Harper, if did not know, and today we're gonna make for the first time in my life California burritos. More or less, I'll be making carne asada and then I will be making a California burrito with all the toppings. I have personally never had California burrito. I'm from St. Louis and I live in St. Louis my whole life. And when I go to the West Coast, I've never been able to go to California to get the famous California burritos. So we're also gonna see if it tastes good. I am betting it does because all the ingredients are absolutely amazing. And then of course I want to also thank Buzzworthy for suggesting this video. He suggested me to either taste test or actually make a California burrito. So I'm going to actually do both by making one and then taste testing it because that's a thing. But more or less with that being said, let us begin. Okay, so we have our skirt steak right here. I'm actually going to just peel it open. There we go. So the first thing you do is to just jab it with this little fork all around. Because this recipe that I'm using to make the carne asada doesn't require you to marinate this for hours and hours on end, um, you have to have a different way to you know, get all the seasoning into the skirt steak and this person's solution to the problem is to poke little holes in. But more or less, I will of course, as usual, place the link to the recipe that I'm using for this carne asada in the description down below because that's literally the only real recipe that I'm really using. Everything else is kind of just like there. So more or less, I'll just do this and I'll get back to you when I'm done. So I poked all the holes, I think. Uh, hopefully I did enough. It looks a little bit like this, probably can't see it at all, but more or less, I'm gonna toss this in the refrigerator again, and then we're gonna start making the marinade, so yeah. Okay, so we have our little, what's it called, bowl, more or less, that we're going to pure everything in. So we're gonna first start off with the garlic cloves, the jalapeno pepper, the lime juice, pour it down here so I don't actually pour it out. Then we have the cilantro and the sugar. Uh, just gonna toss it in too. So I don't have ancho chili pepper. Oh, freak, dang it, I just dropped it all over the ground. Okay, didn't drop a lot, so we're okay, but I don't have ancho chili pepper, but I do have chipotle chili pepper, which is more or less the same, except it's like hotter and not as sweet, and I don't like sweet and savory, so I'm okay with just using chipotle chili pepper. So we're only gonna do a tablespoon because it is hotter, and I don't wanna like, you know, die. Teaspoon of salt, ground cumin, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then finally, two tablespoons of fish oils. Oh, it smells, oh, it does smell quite weird. Okay, we have everything here, so I'm just gonna move everything aside and then get this thing onto the mixer and we'll puree it up. So give me one second. Okay, so we have our mixer all ready to go, so let's start cutting this all up and pureeing it. Oh, dear Lord. Why does this always happen? It's like, oh. It doesn't have the blades in it. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna grab the blades real quick. Wow, that was a great rookie mistake right there. No wonder this went in really easily. With the actual blades in, it's way harder. Oh, great, the stuff on it. Who cleaned this last? Is that good? There we go. Okay, let's start pureeing. Okay, so I think this is nicely pureed. Let's just, oh come on. Let's just check it out. It smells weird, it has a lot of flavors going on. But I think it's done. Yep, everything's pureed together. So we have our marinade. So I'm gonna go and grab everything and we'll start marinating the skirt steak. So give me one second. Okay, so we have our gallon bag that we're going to toss our skirt steak in. In it goes, our marinade. It smells good, right? But there's a weird, like, putrid smell. Not like putrid, that's a wrong word, but like, I think it's the fish sauce. That, like, weird umami f smell of it. Really getting to me. But more or less, it should be really good. I'm just gonna close it up nicely. There we go. And then mix it all around. There we go. So I'm gonna let this, you know, hang out, and while it waits, I'm going to start making the pico de gallo and the guacamole. So yeah, I'm really excited. This has been really, really simple and easy so far. And so honestly, I'm betting, like usual, this recipe or this in this video is not really about like, oh, how can we like test Harper's cooking skills? But it's mostly like 
is the recipe good, can Hopper follow the recipe correctly, and most importantly, does it all work together? So yeah, but more or less, we have our beautiful skirt steak right here, and let's go on. Okay, so I've actually made pico de gallo before on this channel. I'll have it linked somewhere up here for you guys to see it. So I'm just going to like go through this without actually, you know, showing you because it's really easy and um, you can see the video if you want to. But mostly what I know is that I usually make pico de gallo with jalapenos, but I don't really like jalapenos that much and I forgot I get it this time. And I'm not going to go to the store just because of that. So, no jalapenos, but I don't really care. So, you know, that's a thing. Also, I'm the only one eating this today, so I think I get the right to make pico de gallo how I like it. But more or less, I'm just going to like speed this through, you know, and we'll get back to you when I'm ready to talk. So, yeah. Okay, so we have our pico de gallo right here. Very simple, very easy. So now we're gonna go on and make the guac, so yeah. Okay, we have our guacamole now, and of course we got the gallo. So I'm just gonna put clean film all over them, and then we're gonna get out the French fries. Okay, everyone. So I usually, you know, make the fries by hand and all that, but you know, this is so much happening right now, and you know, I didn't say I was make this all from scratch. So I just said I'd just buy some um, pre-made, um, you know, freezer section fries before. Never had them before, so this will be really fun. But you know, I have some right here. We're gonna toss it in the oven for around 10 minutes or so. And while we do that, we're gonna start making the carnesada. So yeah, also as usual, this pan is old, not dirty, I promise. But from there, let us go on. Okay, we're on to start making the carne asada. So we're gonna pour in some oil onto a very, very hot pan. Not pan, but like skillet. Actually, I'm gonna go. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys, I got it all over the stove accidentally, but I think we got it. So we're gonna let this cook for around two minutes or three minutes and then flip it over. So, yeah. Okay, so it's been three minutes. So we're going to. Oh, okay. I need more help than what I'm. There we go. Look at that. It looks very nice if I say so myself. There's a nice crisping on the on the sides and the bottom. Looks really, really good. Okay, so it has been the three minutes that it's supposed to be. <clears throat> so I'm just going to just see. Yep, it's ready to go. So we're just going to place it here. And then I'm going to wash this thing off and let this rest for five minutes. But it looks very nice. So I am very, very excited. Okay, so we've let this rest for a while. So what's going to just cut it a little bit on an angle. I'm trying to cut them really thin because you know this is gonna be on a burrito and I don't want to like accidentally choke on something. Okay, so before we go on, I wanna see how this actually tastes. So we're gonna have a little bit right here. Very hot and spicy. A little sweet too. That chipotle so seasoning always makes everything very spicy. I might need to cut it down anymore because, oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, oh, that was a lot. Okay, so more or less our beautiful skirt stick right here. I'm getting it all over the counter, or the counter, my little filling space. So I'm going to just um, clean everything up and then let's start making this California burrito. I am so excited. Okay guys, let's start, you know, assembling the California burrito. So first things first, I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese on the bottom. I have more you know, right here, but I just wanna have a little bit, nice, you know, a nice little layer on there. And then we're going to just place on the carne asada, a little bit more cheese. Actually, I'm gonna put all the cheese on. There we go. Our 
beautiful fries. Oh, I don't think they're gonna all fit. Ah, I wish I had a bigger flour tortilla. This isn't good. Okay, I don't think they're all gonna fit. Some guac. I love guac, so I'm gonna put more than I probably should. Oh, shoot. Then, some pico the guy, oh. And then finally, go. Okay, so we have everything on, but let's see if I can actually fold this. I don't think I can. Oh, this is so sad if I can't fold this all. Pray and hope this works. Oh, it's not working. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna get a tortilla. Give me one second. So we're going to just move it all around this way. And honestly, mixing everything up, it does make everything, you know, taste better because you get all the flavors instead of like a lot of one thing on one side. So honestly, this should be better, but it's not gonna look cute when I cut it open, which is really sad, but hey, that's just gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, here we go. Come on, yes, yes, yes. Oh, shoot, I just poked a hole in it. Okay, so it's looking a little ugly, <laughs> like really ugly, but I'm gonna toss this on the stove and like toast it up and hopefully seal all the edges in. So guys, this is what we're dealing with right now. I'm trying to get all the edges in. So yeah, this does not look very cute. I probably got a little gluttonous. I wanted to get everything on top and now we're dealing with this monstrosity, so just kind of shows you. Don't take too much. Don't, you know, use too much. Have common sense. Ah, oh, that's not, yeah. Also, this pan is not hot enough. So we're gonna just leave this, you know, to do its thing, and then I'm gonna clean up. So we're dealing with this right now. I'm just trying to seal up all the edges. It's looking a little bit more like a cylinder now, which is pretty hilarious because that was where I was trying to go in the first place. But yeah, this is more or less what I'm dealing with right now. I'm pretty excited, but I'm a little worried that this cross section is not going to be as cute as I'm hoping it is because this is looking quite like a monstrosity, but if it tastes good, that's all I care about. Okay, so we have our beautiful monstrosity right here. It's looking quite horrifying, but let's see if it actually looks nice inside at least, so... Not as cute as some, but not as bad as I thought. Let's see how this actually tastes. So it looks a little bit like this. Very, very cute in a way. And let's see if it actually tastes good or not. Okay, so I've had half of the burrito Put the rest away, I was way too full. Have any more else of it, because it's very, very rich. And let's talk about what I think about it. So number one, thankfully, all of the other ingredients, the, you know, the pico de gallo, the guac, the fries, the um, sour cream, were able to really dampen the flavor of the carne asada, so it wasn't as hot. The flavor itself, I personally am not the biggest fan of it. It's a little too sweet for me. I really don't like sweet and savory things together. Sweet and salty, really don't like them. So having the carne asada where it was pretty sweet, I did not really like that. Also the skirt steak was a little bit hard to eat. I think that of course I'll probably just you know cut it you know more finely and it'll be okay. But definitely don't have it in very very large chunks because that's hard to eat. But honestly it went well with everything else so I really liked it. It was a lot of work and I probably should have you know put less things on everything. You know, I probably should have put less everything on so I could, you know, I could have only made one burrito but a ginormous burrito is pretty fun to make so that's a thing right there. Um, honestly when it comes to like rating, you know one out of ten, one being couldn't even finish it was terrible, ten being it was amazing, I'll make it again and again and again. I'm gonna give this a solid eight. I really liked it, it just, the flavors just weren't me, and I think if I could just do a little bit of like, you know, tweaking, it'll be perfect and I will absolutely love it. But yeah, more or less, as before, thank you so much Buzzworthy for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it, so hopefully you had a lot of fun watching this video. And that is all for today, so of course, if you like this video, click a like. If you want to see more from watch, just subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will say time, and as usual, goodbye.